Well, hey, everybody, this is Robert, and welcome to Outbreak News TV. And on today's news brief, we're going to take a look at Guinea worm disease 2023. Now, the eradication of Guinea worm disease remains in sight, with only 14 human cases reported worldwide in 2023. In 2022, there were 13 cases reported throughout the year. Now, nine of the 14 human cases reported in 2023 occurred in Chad, two in South Sudan, and one each in Cameroon, Central African Republic, and Mali. Now, when the Carter Center assumed leadership of the Global Guinea Worm Eradication Program in 1986, an estimated 3.5 million human cases occurred annually in 21 countries in Africa and Asia. Now, reported infections in animals rose modestly from 685 cases in 2022 to 726 cases in 2023. Uh, officials say this is due to expanded surveillance in Angola and Cameroon. Now, the worm that infects animals are the same species, Trochunculus metanensis, as those that infect humans. Therefore, eradication requires stopping infections in both. Quote, eradicating guinea worm disease and the suffering it causes has been a long, has been long a dream of my grandparents, and they have worked incredibly hard to make it a reality, says Jason Carter, Carter Center board chair and eldest grandson of former U.S. President Jimmy Carter and the late First Lady Rosalind Carter. Quote, they witnessed firsthand how this work improves the lives of millions of people, and the Carter Center will keep working with our partners until there are zero cases. Now, guinea worm disease typically is contracted when people consume water contaminated with tiny crustaceans called copepods uh, that eat the guinea worm larva. The larva develop into adult worms and mate within the human host. The male worm dies. Then after about a year, a meter long pregnant female emerges slowly through a painful blister in the skin, often of the legs or feet, but it can be anywhere. A sufferer may seek relief by dipping the affected body part in water. However, the contact with the water stimulates the emerging worm to release its larva and start the life cycle anew. Guinea worm disease incapacitates people for weeks or months, sometimes permanently, reducing individuals' ability to care for themselves, work, grow food for their families, or attend school. Guinea worm is poised to become the second human disease in history to be eradicated following smallpox, as well as the first parasitic disease and the first without a medicine or without a vaccine. Uh, without a vaccine or medicine, the ancient parasitic disease is being eradicated mainly through community-based interventions to educate people and change their behavior. Tethering dogs to keep them out of water and not allowing them to eat potentially contaminated fish entrails are key factors in preventing guinea worm infections in animals, particularly in Chad and Ethiopia. People who catch, sell, and consume freshwater fish and other aquatic animals are encouraged to burn or bury discarded entrails to keep dogs from eating the entrails that may contain guinea worm contaminated copepods. Other interventions to stop transmission include community-based health education, the use of filters like the life straw, as you can see in this picture, for drinking water, barring people and animals for, uh, with emerging guinea worms from entering water sources, and targeted use of the larvicide abate in stagnant, shallow water sources. What does eradication mean? Well, eradication means a disease has been eliminated worldwide with no natural possibility of return. The final cases are the most challenging, requiring persistence, ingenuity, and enormous amounts of resources to operate in difficult, remote, and often insecure areas. 
Only one human disease has ever been eradicated, and that was smallpox in 1980. For a disease to be declared eradicated, every country in the world must be certified free of human and animal infection, even countries where transmission is never known to have taken place. To date, the World Health Organization has certified 200 countries free of guinea worm, and only six have not been certified. That's Angola, Chad, Ethiopia, Mali, South Sudan, and Sudan. Now, management and treatment. When the guinea worm is ready to come out of the body, it creates a painful burning blister on the skin. The blister eventually ruptures, exposing the worm. Management of guinea worm disease involves removing the whole worm and caring for the wound in general. There is no specific drug to treat or prevent guinea worm disease. There is also no preventive vaccine. Optimal management of guinea worm disease involves the following steps. First, the infected person is not allowed to enter drinking water sources. Next, the wound is cleaned. The affected body part may be immersed or soaked in water far away from any water sources to prevent contamination to encourage the worm to contract and release larva. Emptying the worm of the larva may make removing the worm easier. Three, the worm is then wrapped around a rolled piece of gauze or a stick to maintain some tension on the worm and encourage more of the worm to emerge. This also prevents the worm from slipping back inside. Four, then gentle, contract, gentle traction is applied to the worm to slowly pull it out. Pulling stops when resistance is met to avoid breaking the worm. Because the worm can be as long as one meter in length, full extraction can take several days to weeks. Five, afterwards, topical antibiotics are applied to the wound to prevent secondary bacterial infections. Six, the affected body part is then bandaged with fresh gauze to protect the site. Medicines such, such as aspirin or ibuprofen are given to help ease the pain of this process and reduce inflammation. And lastly, these steps are repeated every day until the whole worm is successfully pulled out. Like I said, it could be up to a month or more to get the whole worm out. Sometimes they have to just twist the matchstick or the stick just a quarter of a term each day uh, as a process to get the worm out of the body. So it's, it's quite a process uh, to be sure. And that's uh, the latest on guinea worm disease, uh, the numbers from 2023 from the Carter Center. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, and share with your friends. And I'll see you next time on Outbreak News TV.